Hi everyone, I'm Claire and at the National Space Centre we've been learning all about Mars and today I'm going to be talking about Beagle 2. It was named after the ship that took Charles Darwin on his first expedition around the world. It was part of the European Space Agency's Mars Express mission, which launched on the 2nd of June 2003. The mission was composed of the Mars Express orbiter, which would go around Mars, image its entire surface and study its atmosphere. Whilst the Beagle 2 would land on Mars's surface and look for past and present signs of life, while also studying its geology, weather and climate. The Beagle 2 lander was originally developed to fill a small weight excess, so it had to be small and low mass. The National Space Centre was home to a small team led by Colin Pillinger, and it was also the Lander Operations Centre. Because the lander had to be small and compact, they designed it to open up like a pocket watch, and the solar panels that would power it would unfold kind of like flower petals. Model not to scale. And then a robotic arm with several instruments attached would fold out and begin its search for life. On Christmas Day 2003, the team eagerly awaited a signal from Beagle 2 to say it had landed safely, and that signal had actually been written by the band Blur. But that signal never came, and for over 10 years, no one knew what had happened to it. The main theory was that its parachutes or its airbags used to cushion its landing had failed, causing it to crash land into Mars. However, this remained to be seen, and then Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter discovered something in 2015. The orbiter had taken images that appeared to reveal the Beagle 2 had in fact landed successfully on the surface of Mars, and arguably gotten through the hardest part of any mission. It appears two or three of its solar panels had been able to fold out, but the rest, for an unknown reason, had failed. This meant the robotic arm was unable to deploy and send a signal home. Although technically it failed, like over half the missions to Mars, it was still a great achievement for the team that worked on it, and the whole of the UK and the National Space Centre is honoured to have been a part of it. 